Guys, welcome back to the part two of the rear engine mounted KX250 two stroke shifter cart. So today our parts have came in. Big special thanks to Go Power Sports for sending me the parts. More about that later, but I am very excited for this build. If you haven't watched part one, be sure to check it out. We're gonna be finishing the frame and making it a complete roller. So of course, we're gonna try to make this frame as safe and as rigid as possible. But also, we're gonna try to maintain a weight of under 300 pounds. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell. But anyways, let's get to unboxing these parts. First piece is a very, very nice, very heavy axle. Gonna be important for keeping all that power to the ground. Just like Chris. Front wheels. 10 inch wide tires, um, shifter carts don't run 10 inch tires, but I figured I wanted to stand out with the 10 inch tires. Holy crap, it's like a... Dang, that's, that's crazy. Okay, that is super ergonomic. I just don't know if it's gonna fit in, in this tiny frame. No power sports is on hold, I love guys. Very thankful to have them team up with me on this build, so um, be sure you guys check them out. These products have incredible quality and you won't be disappointed. All right guys, I'm gonna clean everything up and we're just gonna, we're gonna get started on this build.
so it looks like our chain is going to be about this long in total which is pretty short I'm just worried about uh, having a chain that is constantly overheating but uh, we'll see there we go Well guys, here are my rearmost uh, engine flanges. Due to the differences in the case, I had to make some cuts right here. But uh, I think these will have no problem. When I am tacking everything, I do put washers behind the flanges. It's going to allow room to move the engine a little bit. And also if I want to, I could take up that space with a piece of rubber or solid metal depending on how the go-kart handles once, it, once it's finished. bit of a tricky situation up our sleeves. I'm not really a fan of how that looks. I've been standing here for like an hour trying to think of a compromise or we could leave it on there but I'm I'm really not sure if I want to leave it on there. Probably have to think about it for like 30 minutes and we'll decide. <music> Sorry for the interruption guys, I gotta announce I will be trying to upload two or three times a week starting from this video so you guys will no longer have to wait 
Be sure you turn on that post notifications bell. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button down below. The holidays are over, guys. I'm trying to grow, so I hope you guys appreciate it. But uh, let's get back to the video. I don't like how it's blunt like this, so I just, I didn't use it. I went ahead and um, made me something that I think looks much better, much more aggressiver, and um, you know, I'll figure something out. It's going to be cross braced properly, and in case of a rollover, this thing should absorb some of that impact. It's going to be pretty easy to mount the radiators and the gas tank to this bar somehow, some way, and um, yeah. But I uh, still hope you guys are enjoying the video. Let's get back to work. So yeah guys, I am really happy with how this thing is turning out. It's probably something you've never seen before on a shifter cart, but you know, it, it's going to be very unique. I want it to look super aggressive and we've taken some design off some dragsters and street rails to make it look like this. Be sure you stay tuned for the next parts. I got lots of lots of parts on the way. Lots of awesome epic stuff. Got some engine mods, so be sure you guys stay tuned. Big, big thanks to Go Power Sports for sending me pretty much all the parts you see here. Big special thanks to them, guys. If you've never heard of them, they're the number one mini bike and go kart parts dealer. If you're going to go ahead and place an order with Go Power Sports, write my name in the order form and tell them I sent you. Yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button down below. Stay tuned for part three. So it is getting pretty late, and I want to go ahead and get this video out for you, and then we'll resume back next week and starting from this video I will be uploading two or three times a week two build videos and possibly one extra video so yeah guys stay tuned hit that post notification bell subscribe if you're new and also smash that like button down below it's gonna help get this video suggested to more people and thank you so much for the love and support guys keep it up guys keep on leaving comments keep on liking and I'll see you in the next video stay tuned for more peace Well, I went ahead and weighed everything on some scales, and the total weight came out to be 160 pounds. It's pretty crazy to me how fast that weight adds up, but uh, we're going to try to keep it as light as possible. So, uh, yeah. Something I'd also like to point out is I try to make this engine as low as possible. And actually, the lowest point on the frame is right here. You can't even slide a 2x4 under it. So, um, going to be good for handling, but not so much for... Uh, off-roading so yeah